This is Louise Green alongside Chris Weidman. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you finding Prague? Uh, it's beautiful here. Um, I, got, I got to get out into the city a little bit yesterday during the day and I uh, took a little tour company for like an hour by myself. It was pretty cool. And you're here to support your teammate, Jean Vellante. Um, how have uh, preparations been for him in the run-up to this fight? It's going, it's going great. You know, he, he worked really hard. I think he's in great shape. Um, so I'm excited for him to go out there and put on a show. And uh, you're going to have time, I think he said he extended his trip, so you're going to have time to look around Prague afterwards? No, so he extended his trip, but i got to get back. i got, I got a wife and three kids. <laughs> I can't hang around too long. I've been here since Monday, and I'm here until Sunday, so that's, that's the end of the trip for me. Nice. And yeah. uh, when are we going to expect to see you back in the octagon? Um, I'll probably be back in the octagon probably early summer, I would say, or late spring. Okay. Yeah. Have you got anyone in mind that might be your next opponent? No idea. I'm focused on getting healthy and then, you know, after that, we'll see what's available. Okay. And uh, talking about the division, you had some words about Israel Adesanya after his uh, last win against Anderson Silva. Can you kind of uh, divulge into your feelings about him as a fighter? Yeah, you know, listen, he's exciting to watch. He's got good stand-up, but I was just being honest. He hasn't fought one top five guy yet. Um, he fought Anderson Silva at 43 years old and it had a decent close, close fight with him. Um, he was a minus 700 something favorite. So based on the odds, he was a, a tad bit overrated. I mean, uh, because that ended up becoming a, a, a pretty close fight. Um, he's good, you know, he could end up being really good. But as far as right now, um, I consider him a little bit overrated. Um, yeah, I mean, he hasn't beat one top five guy yet. I fought 11 top five guys in a row. So he's going to be taking on Kelvin Gastelum for the interim title, which has just been announced. Do you think he deserves that shot straight, uh, you know, so soon? You know, I don't know. The game is different now. Um, like I said, he hasn't fought one top five guy yet, and now he's fighting for a, a championship. Somehow it worked out. You know, people are, it's a business. People are excited about him. The UFC is definitely promoting him good. Um, so I think it makes sense at the time, yeah. And, and what's your prediction for that? How do you, who do you think uh, comes away with the interim uh, title? I think um, I actually haven't thought about that fight. I was, th I thought Gaslam was going to actually beat Whitaker. Um, yeah, I give, I give Whitaker. The, I mean, I give Gaslam this fight too. Yeah. yeah. And, and what did you think about obviously Robert Whitaker? He got quite seriously ill. Yeah. What was your kind of uh, initial reaction? Because it happened so close to the to the fight. I was so pissed off because I was ex so very excited about that fight. Um, so when I found out, I was just bummed out. I wanted to see it. Um, yeah. Do you think uh, interim title is just? Obviously, there's always so many talks about interim titles. Do you think they, that was a good decision to make? I mean, I know Whitaker's been injured a few times now, and this one, um, I don't know if they have a time, strong timetable on his return. Um, so I think it, I don't. I, and you also have Gaslam, who's supposed to be fighting for the title. And what are you going to just hold him out? You know, make him fight a fight that's not for the title. Or just wait until Whitaker's back. I think, I think the interim title thing makes sense. And uh, something that was um, on Twitter a lot, you know, big news uh, was that GSP is going to be re uh, announcing his retirement. What, what's your reaction to that? Um, yeah, I've been followed. I've been, you know, in Prague and the time change and sleeping and just working out, John. So I haven't been all over the internet as much. But um, if that's true, I mean, GSP has accomplished so much in this sport and. Uh, I mean, he really never, you know, came off the top, so that's pretty impressive. And Khabib said shortly after that he wants that fight against him in November, and I think that was something that he was campaigning for and couldn't get, which is, I think, maybe one of the reasons why he's, go, you know, announced his retirement. Um, do you think that should happen, Khabib and GSP? Um, you know, I know Khabib really wanted that fight, and uh, I'm guessing GSP wanted it too. Um, I guess they just couldn't come to terms with the UFC. And we'll see what happens. We'll see what really transpires. This could be a negotiation thing for GSP as well. I don't know. Um, maybe the UFC comes back and says, all right, we're good. Let's have a fight. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. And uh, some fights that are coming up. Uh, John Jones and Anthony Smith. Uh, what's your prediction for that fight? Oh, uh, man. Um, you know, I'd like to see Anthony Smith go out there and make it a really exciting fight. You know, let's see if he can get a win. It's a tough fight, obviously. It's John Jones. Um, but, you know, it seems like everyone's writing him off, so I won't, I won't write off anybody. And Anthony Smith definitely has the tools to, to make it happen.
And then there has been talk of uh, Conor McGregor maybe taking on Cowboy Cerrone if that did happen. How do you think that would go down? That's an interesting fight. Um, mm, I'd have to give it to Cowboy. Yeah. How do you think he would he would get the win? I think he would use some wrestling, and I think he would try to wear on him. And see, we've seen Connor's kind of had some issues with cardio going into later rounds when guys are wearing on him. Um, and Connor's, I mean, Cowboy's the bigger guy. So I think with the wrestling, cage work, keeping him at distance with with his range and strikes. Um, you know, I don't know. I, I'd say he's taking it to the ground and trying to submit him. Well, thank you very much for stopping and talking to us, and we hope to see you in the octagon soon. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you.